Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to monitor your recordings with live preview on a large screen with a Lumix G Series camera. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so if you're an owner of a Lumix camera, a GH4, GH3, G7, G8, G80, etc., then you're probably used to trying to squint at a display screen or the flippy out screen, which is on the side of your camera, to see what you're actually doing whilst you're in a shot. Now, for me at the moment, the camera is probably, well, more than arm's distance away from me. So, someone of my age to actually see a tiny, what is it, two and a half, three inch screen and actually see if I'm in focus, see if my products are up the right way, all that kind of stuff is pretty much impossible. And the only other way you could do it is to get the Lumix Image app, which you can download for Android phones, Apple phones, tablets, that sort of thing. But generally most tablets tend to be I don't know, seven, eight, maybe 10 inches at the best. And it's also not the easier things to use all the time. And also if you don't have a tablet of that size, it's another added expense to your already expensive habit. So I found a really simple way of making use of older hardware but still getting a lot of the features that you'd get normally within the app. Now, the app that I'm referring to in this particular instance is called LMaster. Now, LMaster is available from the Windows Store and you can download it free of charge. It's completely open source, so you can do pretty much what you want with it. Um, there is an option to give donations to the creator, but other than that, it's ad-free, completely free to use, no problems whatsoever. Now, it is a free app, so don't expect the earth, but it is very good and allows you to remotely control your camera via Wi-Fi as you would within the app, but you can do it on a much bigger screen. So because it works in Windows, you can use it with Xbox One, you can use it with a laptop, PC, or basically any device that runs Windows 10 or has got access to the Windows Store. Now currently I'm using a older Dell Latitude E4510, which basically is a pretty much useless laptop. In terms of processing power, memory, etc. It's pretty much a dinosaur and it's probably not worth a great deal, maybe 50, 60 pounds if that. It's the kind of thing that most people end up giving away. But for me, it's found a new lease of life. With the LMaster app, I can now see what I'm actually doing on the camera up close. Obviously, if I move this out of the shot, you don't know it's there, but I can still see it and I can monitor what's going on. I'm actually recording um, pretty much what I can see with the webcam which is here, which can see the laptop, my product, and also the camera, and at the moment the blank screen on the camera, which is kind of useless. So I can't tell if that's recording. I can see a blue light on the camera to say that the Bluetooth's on, or rather the Wi-Fi's on, but other than that, I haven't got a clue. It could be doing anything. And I obviously can't monitor things like audio or focus, that kind of thing. Now the resolution on this app isn't fantastic, I will give you that, but it's certainly a lot better than nothing at all. And also, just a quick uh, glance to the screen, I can see how much time I've got remaining. So currently I've got about 16, 17 minutes uh, remaining. I can see where my focus point is, which I can quite easily move with the mouse, just click on a different area, and I can change my focus points. So again, if you've got a touchscreen laptop, or you've got a touchscreen uh, tablet, whatever it may be, which is slightly out of screen, you can just manually tap your focus and you're up and running. For me, this is a great app. So say for instance, like this product, if I'm demonstrating it, I can look to the side and see, oh, no, nobody can see that. So let's pull it back into the shot. It's really simple and you can see when it's in focus. And if it's not in focus, you can just manually set your focus, change your focus range, and that's it. And that product is now in focus. This, I think, is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people, especially those with YouTube channels doing unboxings or doing kind of studio type setups like this. Obviously, not quite so great if you're doing shooting outdoors, but then again, you could set a camera up and remotely have the laptop so you can be a good, I don't know, well, whatever the Wi-Fi range is there, maybe 30 feet, something like that, and you can actually start and stop recording. So if you're doing nature recordings or whatever, could be useful for that. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of it, if you're going to try it, and if it's been useful to you. I'd be uh, interested to know. So this has been a, a brief, quick look at LMaster. I strongly encourage you to give it a try. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.